first that news that's just coming in. These are details of the probe into the Hyderabad blasts so far. The initial forensic samples from the blast sites indicate traces of ammonium nitrate, urea and petrol. Investigators are probing three specific names of suspects. These are names that have been given by the Hyderabad police. One suspect belongs to Uttar Pradesh. A second is from Bihar. The third suspect is from Jharkhand. Police are helping the NIA on suspected links to a January 18th raid on a Hyderabad lodge. The guest was staying under a false name and escaped just hours before the raid. The Hyderabad police is treating this as uh, one of the key leads now in this case. Investigators are looking at similarities also with the Pune blasts of August last year. So these are the preliminary details available about the probe into the twin blasts in Hyderabad uh, late last evening. Details of the forensic samples that have been collected from the uh, site of the blasts as well. Preeti Singh is joining us live uh, from the blast site in Hyderabad for more on this. Uh, uh, Preeti, one of those suspects is now believed lived in a lodge in Hyderabad for some time and escaped just before the police raided the lodge. That's right, Ananya. That's really what the preliminary details coming in are, are telling us. Uh, Hyderabad police sources, uh, along with NIA, telling us that uh, possibly one of the three people, remember three names are coming in now. Uh, these three names, in fact, police sources here on ground telling us are not new to the Hyderabad police. Uh, remember, Hyderabad is also known as, uh, as a city which seems to have a lot of sleeper cells syndrome here also, a lot of sleeper cells here in place, which is why these names not really new for the Hyderabad police. That's what sources telling us. For now, yes, three names coming in, one from... UP Bihar and Jharkhand. Also, we understand one of them, uh, really in a sense, the key lead did stay in Hyderabad, may possibly as part of the recce. That we'll need to confirm. But he did stay in Hyderabad in a in a lodge here. He was here till as early as January. That's when in a police raid. Uh, 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 that's when he escaped. In fact, just a few days ago, before this uh, uh, blast took place. That is before yesterday. So a few leads coming in for the police team here. They will have to put it together now. Uh, also, remember the composition of that bomb coming out. Now. Now, uh, uh, sources telling us that it is possibly ni an ammonium nitrate along with uh, along with shrapnels and other substances. Also, now ammonium nitrate. Uh, uh, even eyewitnesses here had said that they had seen these large red flames come out immediately after the blast. A possible indication that yes, ammonium nitrate was used. Now, why is this important? It is one of the most uh, common ingredients that is used in blast. Remember, the idea police sources here telling us we've been trying to speak to them, and all of them, though remaining tight lipped on sticking their neck out and saying this is a particular organisation who's done. This, but all of them pointing to the fact that right now they are trying to put a pattern to this. Uh, the fact that cycles were used, the fact that uh, uh, aluminium boxes, uh, like the different boxes, were used to place the, uh, place the bomb. Also, the fact that the blast occurred in front of two theatres. All this is, in a sense, uh, indicating to a set pattern. Also, now the fact that ammonium nitrate was used as possibly one of the key ingredients of that bomb, a recce being done. All of them now being looked at as really to collaborate all the information that they have. Also, remember the and I, uh, uh, the Delhi police team is here in Hyderabad to help police also with whatever information they have. Remember, Magbul's interrogation report is also another key lead for the probe here. So, uh, for now, really, few details coming in. The ones that we've been pointing out, three people now coming under the radar. Uh, one from uh, uh, one from UP, Bihar, and one from Jharkhand. One of them also stayed here at a lodge, in fact, uh, uh, till about as early as January, possibly, escaping just a few days before this blast took place. And also the fact that the bomb comes position is now coming out. All of them will help the police to now figure out a set pattern and maybe zero in on at least which organization is behind this crime, Ananya. All right, Preeti, thanks for getting us those details. Of course, remains to be seen as and when uh, the probe details are formally out and whether the police can proceed to make any arrests in this matter.